The Australian film industry has cautiously welcomed the government's funding boost to lure Hollywood productions here. However, they worry the allocated $140 million is not extra money, but will be ripped from funds currently quarantined to tell local stories. Here's National Arts reporter Michaela Boland. It was meant to be a night to honour Australian screen directors. But amid festivities at the Directors Guild Awards, the federal budget loomed ominously. Simon Baker, who won Best Director for his new film Breath, says he fears for the industry which launched him into international stardom. It's always been fragile, so I think it needs to be uh, protected because uh, the importance of our, our own cultural identity and voice is a big part of who we are. Yesterday, the federal government caved to pressure, exerted most strongly by Queensland, to increase incentives for the types of blockbusters which are big employers on the Gold Coast. But local directors fear the $140 million for Hollywood comes at the cost of Australian stories. We don't know where the money's coming from. Is this additional money for film, like outside of what would be budgeted next week? I don't know. Arts Minister Mitch Fifield declined to say if yesterday's kicker for foreign films was new money for an industry undergoing unprecedented change. It's been proven that Australian audiences watch Australian content. I think the issue is the cost of making Australian content. And with the arrival of streaming services like Netflix, audiences have no guarantee of seeing Australian content. A year ago, the federal government announced a review of the industry's concerns. We still don't know the result. We still don't know what the, that inquiry has come up with and what it's recommending. So we're very concerned. Until then, their audience is waiting. Michaela Boland, ABC News.